Principle 22. God uses the weak by his spirit. God does not look to find those who are the elites and those who are the most skilled. Rather, he looks for the weak and foolish who trust in him. God uses broken pots and vessels. He uses imperfect people who trust in a perfect God. Thus, all men will know that it is God who has manifested his power and glory through a brother or sister. It is realized then that it was not the work of men, but the work of God. To bring maximum glory to his name, the Lord is assembling an end times movement of weak, poor, helpless, and despised people who the religious system of our day have written off as unusable for their purposes. These believers God is going to anoint to carry the message of the gospel in power to a lost and dying world. We see evidence of this in the underground churches of the world where unknown itinerant evangelists go from town to town sharing the good news. For the scripture declares, But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. God chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are so that no one may boast before him. The question is, are we weak enough for God to call and use us? Are we empty of all the traditions of religious men so that we can learn from the Lord himself? This is the way of the Lord. God is looking for a Gideon's army of those that are willing to trust fully in his power and not in any might or power of their own. God uses nobodies that will trust him implicitly and fully. Are you going to be a part of this Gideon's army today? Imagine the odds of 1,000 to 1, or perhaps 100,000 to 1. Yet this is God's economy, for one with God is a majority. It could be 1 million to 1, and if God was with that one person, he would be the victor. In these end times, God is looking to magnify his name greatly and therefore is using the weak and the lowly so it will be clearly evident that it was a work of God and not men. My strength is made perfect in weak people. The Lord is sovereign and will raise up those he wills especially to shame the wise and capable. God desires a remnant of saints who will do his bidding and work no matter the cost. The overlooked and weak will be raised up so that God will get the glory. This glory that is soon to cover the earth as the waters cover the sea will be all to promote and exalt the testimony of God in the earth. The Lord Jesus calls people who realize they cannot function at all apart from His grace and empowerment. God chooses to use those individuals who know Him intimately. This is the primary qualification for service in the kingdom of God. Such a group of weak people who know God will be those who accomplish God's end-time purposes in the earth. We must not be angry with the Lord when He starts to raise up workers in the last hour that have not been laboring all day. Such God will raise up and even give them a greater inheritance in the work of spreading the gospel to the nations. We must never be jealous of another worker or a person's anointing, but rather desire to accomplish God's will for our own life. Another well-known yet vital biblical picture is that of the thousands of Israel's army shaking in their armor as the mighty Philistine giant Goliath comes forward to challenge them. Yet God calls a simple shepherd boy David who had faith towards God. Holding a simple sling and a few stones, God fought for him. What proceeded was a great victory wrought for God's glory and name. David's, Samuel's, Samson's, Abraham's, Gideon's, God is calling us today, weak as we may be, to follow in their ways and trust God for the impossible. With God, all things are possible. May we be stirred with faith to believe God today.